backed into a corner until you ball your fist, ready to call it quits? What would it take for you to flip the script? Seeing all the good in life and knowing that you deserve all of it? Everyone has their own trials and tribulations. But what the pressure of a situation will let you know is that you're a pipe waiting to be busted for a diamond in the making. Because if we are never pressed, then we will never be able to push through and take relief in the fact that we can say we made it. Because there's a huge difference between being patient or sitting around while your time is being wasted. So what is your biggest fear? What do you do when you are standing on the edge of success and you look down seeing nothing but clouds of uncertainty? and the other side is visibly out of reach with no wings to see, and the allergy to the feeling of dropping and turning and going back is certainly not an option, what do you do? Because till this day I tell myself, trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not into your own understanding, but acknowledge him in all thy ways and he shall direct thy path. But as always, most things are easier said than done. So imagine how challenging it was to tell myself that when I got mad. Feeling alone because I currently don't have my better half. Only feeling whole for five hours a week and spending the rest feeling like he's out of reach. Sitting on the side of the road crying tears that watered the garden of self-pity. But all of the fruit and bear was rotten. So it was time for me to strap on my armor and go to war. And I went to war with all the negativity that I've ever gotten. All the no's and doors slammed in my face, I wasn't stopping. No, not me, I didn't have that option. That luxury of accepting defeat, even the days it would take me three and four hours to get home, and other days I would set appointments and get cursed out on the phone, I embraced my trials because they result in triumph. And that reassures me that this journey is uniquely my own. See, time well spent will give you the abundance and return that you desire. And for me, that lit a fire. So for my family, I'm determined to be a rock because we are all the sum total of our own thoughts. So we are exactly where we want to be, whether we're willing to admit it or not. I stopped making excuses for myself because idle words are no good for my health. I will always hope, I will always pray, but no more idle wishing. Because I am not the product of my circumstances, I am the product of my decisions. And I decided to be the best that I could be and help others be the best that they could be as well. So now the only tears that come are not when I fail. They come when I succeed at helping families put their fears at ease. And now I have a memory full of trophies. Bronze kisses from little old couples excited about the information that they receive to the silver hugs I get when I satisfy a client's needs to the golden friendships that I have developed through this opportunity. But nothing compares to the platinum smiles on my kids' faces when they see their mom building a legacy. So what? so what is your biggest fear? Because mine was never being able to prove what I already know. But I have faced my fears. Because that wasn't the spirit that God had given me. God gave me the spirit of I am. And I am a woman phenomenally. A phenomenal woman of TMG. Amen.